Super Duper Variety Power Hour with your hosts, Bob Katie and John Piccolo and Jay Schmidt. Welcome to episode, the long-awaited episode 207 of Bob and John's Super Duper Variety Power Hour. Welcome aboard, folks. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. Loose and buttery army. Yay! All my shit is, it's been so long, I can't even find it. I know, what, what is this podcast thing we do? I don't know. You lost your shit? I did. <laughs> he lost his John shit. John lost his shit. John lost There's his shit. There's shit all over the place here. I know, this that's is, what I'm that saying. Might be yours, You're right, but, Greg. But, Thanks for correcting me. That's how I learn. Yeah. Just cleaning up yeah. <laughs> where you got here. Yeah, that's, this uh, is very important. Uh, welcome back, everybody. <laughs> After three weeks of nothing. Welcome aboard. Did I say that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just checking. <laughs> Welcome back after three weeks of nothing. Uh, yeah. Oh, I mean. Oh. Oh. But where is that? Why do you want that bitch? I forgot where buttons are. Because he's thirsty, dummy. <laughs> ah, we are back. Oh. I don't know if we're better than ever, but we're back. Uh, after Whew. three weeks off. You know, uh, we just decided we're going to have some summer vacation this year. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So mm-hmm. if you're not getting constant every week, we'll be back. I it's got, just that we're... I got a whole nother life in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole nother life in the summer. Spoken like a truly unfunny alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so my, uh, my ne- cousin... My cousin and okay. my aunt were in town for my nephew's <laughs> uh, uh, graduation. You on drugs? <laughs> so wait, go back in. You lost, you lost me there somewhere. Your, your cousin, my cousin, your and my aunt. aunt you know, we're her daughter. Here. Okay, gotcha. We're in and, town from Michigan. Yep. Yeah. For, for my nephew's graduation. Graduation. Okay. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> Every day which, with you is a punch in the nads. <laughs> <laughs> which, by the way, I would like to uh, bring this up that he's definitely 100% going to University of Vermont. So we're... We have an ex- we have an excuse okay, to go there. Okay. Yeah. See this? This is the kind of thing that just tickles my balls. The last <laughs> time I was up there for a wedding, so it was ended up being Talent? for the weekend. Uh, um, you we got went, really me drunk. My, me and my sister, <laughs> um, and my brother in law went to did like the well we, we the very first brewery we went to hmm. they were saying like hey are you on the card I'm like i don't know what the fucking card is really. you know what i mean <laughs> are you on the card it's like noon you know what i mean it's is that noon. like I, is that like on the pill are you on the card <laughs> so there's a whole bunch of breweries in vermont that participate with the card okay and the when card. you fill it you win shit oh all yeah. right oh. That's cool. And it's a well-known one so i still have it so what? there's i definitely want doesn't expire i don't think so oh. no i asked him that cuz it was like uh, how, you know how long yeah. We plan on keeping it going. Oh, that's Not an cool. Expired card. Very yeah. neat. Yeah. Do you know what he's going for? Um, I think like environmental engineering, something like that. Uh, something I would love to do. Being in, do you know what an environmental engineer is? Yeah, you study and take care of the mm-hmm. environment. Mm-hmm. And engineer ways to improve our situation. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? It's like you haven't played with your buttons in so long. Oh, no. You got to touch them all. Oh my gosh! Does that suck? <laughs> <laughs> so they're in town. So they're still here, or they're gone? No, they just left today. The oh. flight was like five or something like. But they came uh, in like Tuesday. Mm-hmm. I just didn't see them until uh, Friday night when uh-huh. I got up the late. Because well. graduation was Thursday. It was 9 o'clock in the morning at Ooh. SPAC. Ooh. I was like, I think I'm going to go to that. And I'm gearing up, too. For there's um, 
We did. I did go to his party. I still got to give him money though. I forgot. I was up there. I had the money, but I never grabbed the card. So I, I was going to make a card. She just gone up and shook scratch. his hand and gave him a slit on the money. I was gonna, but I decided better late than never in this particular situation because you should be saving up for college anyway. I'm when people say that, that it's to the moon in most situations. Yeah. So I mean, I'll, I'll give him the money, I, and I told him, "Hey, I didn't forget about you. It's coming." I did tell him that. So he doesn't think I stiffed him. Stiffed him. So we did, but I was a little upset. I just didn't know what the weather was going to be like <laughs> Saturday, and I had mentioned that I would like to take the boat to the party because their camp is on the water. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's where they did the party. Where my sister and brother-in-law just bought. Yeah, yeah, that one. Oh. Excuse me while I whip this out. Yeah, so uh, so they bought something on Second Dog. Well, obviously. it's the great grandparents' old camp. Oh, okay. There used to be the three of them. Yeah, yeah. Next oh, to the okay. bridge, they yeah. took the two. Gotcha. One was remaining, and the the boys for a while used to just use it, kind of in a rotation. Yeah. And then nobody else seemed to be interested in it, so only Mark and Scott did for a while. Oh. And then the parents said that they wanted to uh, unload it. Well, yeah. Well, they're. I think they're kind of tired of those long winters up there. Yeah. They want to go away for uh, the winter. Mm. No. And I don't, they, they had mentioned selling everything, but they were definitely looking to unload that one. And my sister and brother-in-law are the only ones out of all of them that were really in the position to do it. So they got a camp. Wow. <laughs> yeah, good for them. Yeah. And I could have taken my boat. And then everybody seemed disappointed that I chose not to. I mean, I was trying to do this the right thing with the drinking and boating. It's really, yeah. you know. But I didn't drink that much there. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I could have easily done And we were home before pitch dark anyway. So I could have definitely took my boat. And I probably would have enjoyed myself a little bit more. How's your boat? How is it? <laughs> okay. It's good? So far, we're good. No, no, sorry. Yeah, it's good. Is this wood? <laughs> green felt? But um, green the only felt. thing I, I really... <laughs> the only thing I really have to do... Is the uh, <laughs> knock on jeans balls? <laughs> nut sack on nut your drum sack. Oh, do I have that? I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna put my nut sack uh, on you. your drum sack. Jean, <laughs> <laughs> a little love. <sighs> my seat. So. I gotta fix my seat, and I just I, I again. Have a no, I have a plan. Uh. I just haven't executed. It. <laughs> You always have a plan, but have, <laughs> lately all your plans you have aren't executed. I know. Your to-do file is overflowing. That's why I know. <laughs> I know. That's why I got to cut some shit out somewhere. Almost done with that fucking wall, by the way. <laughs> Holy shit. Jesus Christ. Should have been a actually bang, bang bang. That's one of the reasons why we haven't had a podcast lately. Is gonna be working on the fucking wall. Jiminy Christmas! And every one of them slides down into the concrete, so you got to get it up in there and, and down. slide it down. Oh, and then the and then it's puffy, it's, and, and it yeah, it pu pu pushes out because we put so much insulation uh, and the. Soundproofing so is leaning on it. Oh, so it's screwed it in, oh, and then I'm still at the point where I'm, you know, like. You, I, did you get any screws at your parents' house? No nah, oh. shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I doubt where I'm going to be doing any of that tonight. Anyway, if well, I, I do, I'll tonight, do the electrical I'm for tomorrow. I get the electrical out of the way, and then I'll be ready. It goes up. I, I already cut the coal. Yeah. But then, if you don't cut, you got to get the fucking thing in there. Otherwise, you cut the hole wrong because mm. you're gonna be off by like. Yeah, yeah. Oh no! I knew you weren't doing anything tonight. <laughs> yeah, no. and, and I have to go tomorrow because Samantha is back. Back. So, back from Colorado. Oh, she was in Colorado. Yep. Oh, is that where she went? to Florida. No, that was the original plan. That all got shot <laughs> to hell with the her birthday party thing. And then that whole trip got canceled. And then I guess she wanted to make it up to her. But I think she also uses miles. So she probably had to use them within a certain amount of time. She was like, oh, okay. And then she got, she, her mother brought her and uh, was staying with a, one of their, her friends. A mutual friend from. Oh, oh that's what, yeah, sure, I remember you telling me this. Multiple ex-girlfriends. <laughs> 
So uh, I remember, I, I don't know, the guy makes a bunch of money, I guess, and he's got like three roommates, and they have like a mansion or something, like, you know. Samantha and her mother stayed in the theater room. I feel like <laughs> I feel like that statement is so wrong when you say he makes a bunch of money and then roommates came after it. <laughs> yeah. Whenever I've met the guy, he, he hasn't had a girlfriend, so maybe just doesn't have a need for that disruption in his life. You know, some people find it a hindrance. Hey, I was single too, but never had roommates. <laughs> oh, well, but if you're making a lot like of that. money, you usually don't hear roommates mm. afterwards. I don't know. Maybe you're, mm. you know, maybe you had to be roommates from the start when it was tough, and then you realize, well, together you could just get bigger and bigger place, and still have if and you were all cohesive. Why not? Yeah. It's a, they get stoned a lot. It's a good plan. No, these guys are like <laughs> scientists. So? so they get so long. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. You on drugs. <laughs> yeah, and your point is? I saw a picture posted from. No, that, that would, oh, yeah, because Samantha would have been tagged. Um, oh. They saw Eric yeah. Veet, which is really interesting. Oh, Connie. I don't, I don't remember him, but I, obviously yeah. I know Con, we know Connie. Well, he. Eric Veet was in that whole circle of people in Colorado. I don't remember my circle of people half Amy, the time, John. <laughs> Amy lived there. And uh, but, uh, Mike Borowski. Yeah. They were all like one big happy family. I'm just making it a, so I'm just making a, uh, a, a time them. point mark. So I know where to go to to put the picture of Jeff and Steve up. Oh! There's been a sighting. <laughs> There's been a sighting. Dun, dun, it's dun. Dun. As a matter of fact, John, scooch down a little bit. Let 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 the yeah. Poke Jeff. Okay, poke Jeff. <laughs> yes. So we'll be we'll be keeping him up there for a few minutes while we talk about them. There's been another Jeff sighting. Yes. So. Uh, I guess he coming, told Steve full circle. <laughs> Yeah, I know. The sightings are getting more and more. I mean, every couple of years now. So <laughs> pretty yeah. soon, in yeah. another 10 years, he'll be here. <laughs> that long way he, I, I get, according to Steve, he said that him and Tim watched the podcast. So you can look at him and talk to him. Talk to Jeff. Hey. Hey, hey motherfucker. <laughs> Wait, he watches it all the time or he has watched it? No, I guess they say they... He said... Steve said that Jeff's <laughs> told him that they watch it all the time. He might have just said that. That's why I, <laughs> I. That's why I'm making the. That's why I'm not saying I know shit. I'm just tell, I just know what I was told. How hot those were. Well, if you guys are listening, or watching, we're looking for you. Uh, right after you suck on these little Chinese nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Tim, don't dump a beer on yourself. <laughs> See this? This is the kind of thing that just tickles my balls. And now watch. A minute later, I will do this. Whew. They're gone. Oh. It's yeah. magic. I don't make that That's little all little we want to... Talk to them about. That's all for their picture being oh, up. Okay. Well, so, well, what else do we have to talk about? They're not well, here yet. That's right. We keep sure. talking about them being here, but they're not here. Yeah. Uh, I don't get it. If we had the time we had back when we were younger, we'd be hunting Jeff, hiding in bushes and shit. <laughs> With video enough, cameras and stuff. We barely have enough time for this podcast. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? We barely have enough time yeah. to do this, no. much less anything else. We gotta go on location. It's the best way to do it. Ah, so close. And I'm, now I'm glad, actually, that. Uh, it, what's so funny? <laughs> well, you just went. You, you just no context. Just so close. <laughs> Don't think, Axel. Make my dick itch. <laughs> well, I got invited to the Breakfast Club Friday morning. At by whom? Heath. The same guy that brought me out to Log Bay Day. Yeah. Well, he trailers his boat, so he decided he was going to put it in on Sagandaga and go to and pick up Garth. Mm -hmm. Met him because um, his parents have a camp on Sagandaga. And it was, it was Wayne going to? 
No. <laughs> What's Heath's last name? Goodspeed. Oh, okay. <laughs> Heath Goodspeed and Garth. <laughs> it sounds like a movie. <laughs> Sidekick Garth. <laughs> I'm Heath Goodspeed, and this is my <laughs> trusty my sidekick, Garth. <laughs> Garth. <laughs> <Don't stop again>. <laughs> <laughs> we travel the world in search of breakfast. <laughs> Heath <True>. Goodspeed <laughs> and his faithful sidekick, Garth. So he, he had mentioned it. And I thought about it because normally Fridays are, are a good day for me to take off. And I knew that my aunt and cousin were in town, and I know they like to party. So I thought they might be into it, but I would have had to get up at like 7 o'clock in the morning. Where was it? At the Sport Island Pub. The Copa, Copa Cabana. <laughs> Oh. Sport Island Pub, and, and I saw pictures. There's was, there was tons of people there. Yeah, eight o'clock in the morning. I used to love those. Oh, I, I worked. Yeah, what was the who? One hundred three point nine. Oh, really? I thought that's what's his no, name? No, Pix One Hundred Six has always been the Breakfast Club, but well, One Hundred Three Point or Nine is those two hot beer and float. <laughs> right, and they do come to the area. They cold beer the and hot area. wings. They, <laughs> Something. they weren't there for this. They've, huh. they've been in the area before, but yeah. not this one. Usually, I mean, over as long as I can remember, bre- the breakfast clubs have always been a Pix 106 Pix, thing. They used to be. Uh, yeah, I worked cheap. many of those for the Wolf, and oh my God, those are terrible when you're working them because you're I so exhausted. Imagine. You have to be there at like 2 a.m. to start yeah. setting up. Oh, imagine. Fucking brutal. Oh, yeah. Although, I did, like we did get to see a lesbian sex show at the end of one of them at Glenn Sanders' mansion. Yeah, they got, they got <laughs> The ones that like George I went to all the time, those are always crazy. Oh, I know. When I was younger, I went. I hadn't been to one in so long. That's why yeah. I was tempted. Huh. And we're. Not that tempted. What are we doing? Oh, I was just trying to find, find out. It. Um, who it was. Yeah, who it was. It was that Sport Island pub. I told oh, you about that. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I told you this whole story, if you don't remember. You because tell, you tell because, me a lot of stories. Because when I went to the <laughs> website, I found that Rough and Real is playing. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh that was you? Oh, I didn't, know, I didn't know that was you that found that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they played that? No. Or no, they played there. They're on the calendar. Uh, this, this fucking band, and you know what? I, I hope people comment about us. That means people are listening. This band, Rough and Real, is terrible. We played that Gloversville gig that we got all the pictures from. Yeah, yep. They went on after us. And yeah. They are. I, talk oh my god! And I drive, and I drive, and I drive. I mean, their album sounds like something we did in, in high school on the four track. I mean, it's. But they get gigs everywhere, so yeah. we don't know who they're paying. Maybe they're Tom said. Maybe they're paying. Yeah. <laughs> they're really cheap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they pay us to play. It's like Jesus, but yeah, that drove Tom into a complete mental just explosion oh yeah he was that they so, played where that they're playing anywhere, oh, anywhere. <laughs> it just pissed him off anywhere, yeah. well no i've been saying i want to play there for a long time <laughs> where sport island pub oh <laughs> yeah <clears throat> yeah and tom's had a connection that he's tried there but for some reason that's why everybody got fired up because uh, yeah, tom got fired uh, up because of that our, yeah we can't get our shoe in the door over there but those gotcha. peeps are in there yeah yeah that's ridiculous I say, I say, I, I say, if we want a crowd, we just get a flatbed truck. Jay can drive it, and we just play on the back of the truck, drive all around. <laughs> right? I don't think it'll let me uh, bring up an old event. It doesn't. It didn't. I don't think it told me last time. Just put it in Google. No, I'm right at it, but it doesn't say who was the. Hosts. Q103 broadcast. They just changed, too. Q103 today just went to like Q1057 or something. Yeah, I heard that announcement today on the way home from the lake. That was weird. So Q103? I don't know what that is. Maybe they split? I don't know. Maybe hot beer, free beer and hot wings split. Hot beer and free wings? (laughs) 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 You're doing the same thing I was. (laughs) 
<laughs> you on drugs? <laughs> free beer and hot, hot free and beer wings. <laughs> No, I'm Heath Goodspeed with my trusty sidekick Garth. <laughs> and it's it's getting harder and harder to to uh, do the early drink, heavy drinking. Yeah. I know, I know, you golf, so I imagine it's probably not that yeah out of your range. not every day. I got my fingers crossed for a little freaky dinky. So, like, you know, I guess that's one of the reasons why I hadn't gone to a breakfast club in so long, you know? Mm-hmm. But, <laughs> you know the- what? I should have one a year because I used to do the tie-up, but I kind of don't have all the same friends, and I don't know. Nah. Nah. What's the tie-up? The that's damn down tie-up. That's me. Yeah, the oh. damn tie-up. Oh, oh, I gotcha. <laughs> they do that every year, and I've been, like, in that. I thought I was missing out on something. Oh, no. <laughs> the tie up. What night is tie up night? <laughs> got my fingers crossed for a little freaking dinky. Uh, right after you suck on these little Chinese nuts. <laughs> oh, boating. Oh, boating. It's the tie up with Heath Goodspeed. <laughs> it's just his sidekick, Garth. <laughs> they used to have a live band at that, too, a couple times. They don't do it anymore? The, la- the last time I think we, the last time, yeah, the last time you came down and joined up with us, I think there was a band. Yeah. So they do the tie up. It's just not with a band. Right. They have a DJ. Yeah. They usually have something going on. Crazy. They still do that after the long bay day crap. Well, uh, this one never got anything like crazy. That. Yeah. I think a bit. It's funny how both lakes can completely separate from each other. <laughs> like that didn't happen. So. Yeah. Well. I I know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I know nothing of this George of Lake Lake of George. I think what it comes down to is where the tie up is is deep water. Yeah, you can't. So you know where that log bay day is. It's like you you knee deep high. You yeah. you, ha- you can have your boat in. You know, so you you be with at your boat standing in the water, knee deep, surrounded by people. Yeah. Oh, I saw. I saw. Bang, in between both when you're walking around. I got my walking. fingers crossed for a little freaky dinky. Oh, yeah. I saw everything, actually. The, probably the best fun I think we had was the the early on, the first bash at the beaches on Sand Island. Yeah. I know. We had some good ones there that were like, like really like. Jamaica Fest. Well, those that's a whole different round of that's a whole different realm of things. Yeah, yeah that was pre boat. That was pre us. Well, not Jay having boat, but pre us having boats. I got thinking about that boat just the other day. Like my nephew mm-hmm. Dylan, he sees these little speeders going around, and he's like, "I think I want one of those two seaters." And I got thinking about your boat. Yeah, oh, that yeah. used to be peel your face back fast. Yeah, it was pretty fast. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I remember yeah. sitting there going, gee, we're going really fast. Yeah. It was pretty fast. Why, that's why I have a permanent smile. <laughs> I, I better get my jet ski back before the summer's over. That's what I saw. Excuse me while I whip this out. I didn't tell you the story of it at all? You're right, Greg. Thanks for correcting me. That's how I learn. <laughs> I don't think so. Nothing? I can't Nothing? That. <laughs> Nothing? I it's been so. a year. Oh, all right. Maybe you did tell me this. <laughs> okay. Thing. Yeah, somebody's got it. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I remember now. I, and thought, it, I kind of vaguely. Oh, somebody's got it. I think I. I think I, I thought it was just recently that you had something. Oh, you know what? I, think I need a risky. Yeah, you yeah, haven't done it all night done, long. Yeah, no. All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. Time to make the chimmy fucking chongas. You can find us at Bob and John Podcast at Gmail dot com on Buzzsprout dot com, Spotify, and iTunes, or. At Loose and Buttery on the Twitter and Instagram and Facebook Live. And on our YouTube channel and Facebook page at Bob and John's Super Duper Variety Power Hour. Also on Untapped at Jay's Brew and Brewmaster Pick. I think I got that right. right? Yeah, sounded good. Pretty damn and good. where's my swimming? Go, go. <sighs> you have to wait till afterwards. I'm going to finish this fucking thing. <laughs> and go to 151online.com for all your old rock and roll needs. We should be coming out with a new video pretty soon and a new single. Because it's almost been a year since our release of this album. Uh, wow. And uh, you know what? We should have some dates up soon. Everybody's kind of in summer vacation mode. so That's right. Everybody's been chilling, relaxing. Chillaxing. But you know what? We got a lot of videos up there, so go check us out at 151online.com. And here's your little squishy, squishy, squishy.
All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. Time to make the chimmy fucking chongas. Chillin' with Jay's Brew. Chillin' with Jay's Brew. Difficulty. No. So, in honor of America's birthday, I thought, America. I, thought, thought I would bring uh, Prairie Artisan Ale's uh, barrel aged birthday bomb. Birthday bomb. Great beer, by the way. What is it? <laughs> I <don't know>. <laughs> <laughs> Prairie Artisan Ale's uh, barrel aged birthday bomb. Now, I don't know if you had that. Well, actually, Greg beat us to the punch on this already. Oh. You're right, he Greg. Thanks that. for correcting me. That's how I learn. <laughs> I've had this in the fridge. I had this in the fridge for a couple weeks. Penguin. So. <laughs> So this is the barrel aged version of their birthday bomb. I don't know if you've had the birthday bomb, John. I don't, I don't know. It's a uh, let's 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 skin it. And it is a uh, barrel aged imperial stout with coffee, cocoa nibs, vanilla bean, chili peppers, caramel. I hope I'm not lighting us on fire. And this is, <laughs> and uh, this is barrel aged in bourbon barrels. So. Oh, never, never, never tried that one. No, no. I don't know if you had the regular one. That was the the birthday bomb, but this is the barrel aged version. Oh, that was a big snotty one. Uh-oh. Well, that's why I'm glad you're taking the risk. No, nope. you're right, Greg. Thanks for correcting me. That's how I learn. <laughs> you're welcome. Well, not like so I yeah, can blow this out. <laughs> Greg gave this a five. Put it in your mouth. Just so we know. <laughs> <laughs> Every day with you is a punch in the nads. <laughs> Spoken like a truly unfunny <laughs> alcoholic. <laughs> Here's a glass for you. Put it on your nipple. <laughs> <laughs> Spoken like a truly unfunny. unfunny. Spoken <laughs> like a truly unfunny alcoholic. One for you. One for me. Stick it up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> We're saying all this. Why do I have a feeling we need a character to fly in here and go, I'm Heath Goodspeed and I'll stick my, uh, I'll stick that up my trusty sidekick Gar's ass. <laughs> oh my lord! We may we may have to pay property rights for his name to do funny shit with. <laughs> there you go. Oh, there it is. Right on the floor. Good going. Oh, oh, I think I got that. Oh, holy Jesus! That. Why? That's black. Blick. Blick. But. But you blick. Holy moly. My spicy chicken did not like the looks of that. (laughs) 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 Smell the heat a little bit. (laughs) Your spicy chicken didn't like the looks of it? Where's my. Where's the cards? Where'd all the cards go? Oh. I think I had some right here. Look, there's one. Oh, that's a I just want to. It doesn't matter. I just want it for a guide. That. Something in my bag, but I'm bending <laughs> over. That works. All right. So the color is a beautiful, <laughs> not see-through at all. <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> That's like something I expect you to pull out at like uh, fall or yeah, I know. Chris or winter. It's not a. It's not a very summery beer. <laughs> it doesn't. No, that's, that looks like it's America's birthday. America, America. Um, aroma. I don't know. I, I give the color a five, don't you? Yeah. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous. The aroma. Smell a little heat in there. I smell some caramel. I smell a bourbon. Definitely smell a bourbon. I can taste it with my nose. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's go in here. Every day with you oh, is a wrong one. You're right, Greg. Thanks for correcting me. That's how I learn. So Greg's had these, right? Greg had it. Yeah. Had it, and what did he yeah. give it? A five. Five? Yep, he said Greg's... Um, he likes them dark. Was, wow, this must have been... Wow, this must have <laughs> This took a second there. 
It says, wow, this must be just about aged to perfection. Not boozy at all. A great coffee and pepper taste. It's not even my birthday. So He talks about John that way all the time. <laughs> Do get the pepper. It's not overpowering. <laughs> coffee. I get the cocoa a little, too. Yep. The bourbon flavor doesn't really... Well, it hits you a little bit at first, but it's not boozy. He's right. Greg was right there. Um, That's a one beer deal, though. Oh, yeah. That's all we have. Um, yeah. I'm, uh, Meaning that it's very strong? I'm liking it. Yeah, it's... And heavy. Heavy? 14. Oh. Good thing you did get that spicy chicken. Yeah. 14.25. Be going night-night. Yes, you would. Except for the coffee. You'd be doing a... No more for me, thanks. I'm driving. <laughs> so. oh. Okay, yeah, I get chocolate. I get the bourbon. Coffee-ish. Yep. Yeah, I would agree with that. Chili. Oh, what does this mean? Mouth feel. You know, I got my fingers crossed for a little freaky dinky. <laughs> That's a lot. I see you see that a lot. I should probably have an explanation of this since we do do beer reviews. But to my explanation is it leaves almost a coating in your mouth. That aftertaste? Is, not aftertaste. No, it's called mouthfeel. It's a beer thing. It leaves like almost a coating with your tongue, and that it's it's. A, I'll, I'll Google it after I check this. Out. I think it has mouthfeel. <laughs> I would agree. I mean, you feel something in your mouth. <laughs> well, every time I drink a beer, I get that. I'm used to holding a tool with that kind of power stand. <laughs> I'm kidding. I've seen yours while you were sleeping. It's great. <laughs> it's great. While you were sleeping. It's great. It's great. <laughs> Not used to holding a tool with that kind of power stand. <laughs> I'm kidding. I've seen yours while you were sleeping. It's great. It's great. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> he's making quite a comeback. He's all over Flair? the place. Yeah, probably because he's on like his like thirtieth wife and needs the money. Yeah, but he's all over the place. He's picking up gigs wherever he can get them. I guess. Why? Where'd you see him? I don't know. He's on. He's on. I don't know. <laughs> he's everywhere. Where'd you see him? I don't know. He, he's on a lot of internet. You on drugs? <laughs> you what? He's on a lot of internet uh -huh. ads. Chive sells. Who? Who is it? Ric Flair. Oh, okay. Oh yes, he's on that. Oh, I, I wanna, yeah, he's on that fucking. It kills me every time I see. Is it a Seven Eleven or something it's commercial? Woo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I that Chive down. has a shirt that I almost ordered. I thought it was yeah. so cool, and it was. Uh, what was his other name? It was something boy. The Nature Boy. Nature Boy. The Nature and, Boy. Like like one of those weird kind of prints where it wasn't like. A, I don't know what they call it. A negative, more like. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? There was. Mm -hmm. It's more like black and white, maybe, yeah. or something like that. But anyway, it said Nature Boy, and I was like, damn, he's hot. I got to get that right now. <laughs> <laughs> the Nature Boy! <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> Give me one, gorilla. So, mouthfeel <laughs> refers to the physical sensations in the mouth caused by a food or drink as distinct from taste. It's fundamentally sensory attribute, which along with taste and smell, determines the overall flavor of a food item. It's also referred to as <laughs> texture. Does that help you? No. Oh. John's texture. a mouth fill after he eats a tomato. <laughs> uh, no, I understand texture. Because some textures give me a bad mouth feel, and I don't even... Yes, you know, I don't that's why he brought up the tomato. Um, let's see here. No, I, mean, I could choke myself if I have hair in my mouth. You know what I mean? <laughs> if a hair gets into my mouth, I, I, I'll i gag something. So gag, uh, qualities of mouthfeel oh. are cohesiveness, density, dryness, exquisitiveness, fracturability, graininess, gumminess, hardness, heaviness, moisture. <laughs> moisture. 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 Mouth coating. Moisture. Smoothness. <laughs> moisture. So, so smoothness is considered a slipperiness. Wetness. <laughs> like slipperiness. <laughs> so long, gay boys. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> it's my word of the day. Moisture? 
Mouthfeel. Mouthfeel. I am not gay, senor. Good. You just make me do gay things. <laughs> good one pick up on the fly. That's good. You're on oh, the See, my new friend toasted me already. Who's your new friend? Jay. Jay? <laughs> You just started just over with yeah, you know, just started with some <laughs> No. What's up, Jay? Toast. <laughs> He's having a little bit blue. And what you just said there, you crossed the line, buddy. Just getting started, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever reach a point where you got to go, I want to start all over again? I grab some crap. Apparently yours. not, because I've got a long way to go to catch Jay. <laughs> Well, you kind of just stopped, like almost shut down for no, a while. I've been good for over the, you know, in the summer yeah, I been... buy usually six. Yeah, but this different... spring you were pretty much like you weren't really doing any. Oh, was, uh, what are you up to now? You got to be up. 700. 700, yeah. I'm closing on 1,000. That's right. That's goal. That's 1918. I know, I know. <laughs> he's way he's over I a thousand. Know, I know. Don't you think I watched well, I started that? Did Greg pass too. John? I no, not yet. No, no. He's he hammers him though. Greg's been really active. Lately. We notice that when he texts all of us drunk on something <laughs> sometimes. I don't know how that's possible because they're on like they're on some diet. I don't know how all these beers fit in the diet, or maybe they oh said, he's making them for he's on vacation right now, so maybe he said for vacation. Yeah, but he, this was before he's that been regular. Yeah, yeah he's been regular and he's been losing right weight for weeks. Obvi- oh, how do you do? You you're the you're one that does it. You say it too. I can say it too. Whenever when when I lost all that weight in the nineties, I would I didn't stop going out drinking. Did you? There's a, that guy that drank nothing but beer. Did you see that for all of Lent? I heard something like that. He he drank a beer that was developed <laughs> by the monks that they used to drink during Lent. That that would keep them um, nourished. Nurtured. Nourished, yeah, nurtured, 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 nurtured uh, neutered, and he lost like fucking under pounds. <laughs> I'm like, I'm all, I'm in. <laughs> Beer that my, makes you lose my, weight. My, my kind of diet. It tastes like the innards of a fucking rotting yeah, goat, dude. but <laughs> I don't care. This fills me. So yeah, I could like if it was so, meal time and I drank this, I think I could go to the next meal without eating anything. And if I had another, if I had three of these a day, I wish I had a job where I could just say, "Well, I'm just going to drink beer." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just, I, I, I've been watching Cheers, and I just saw that episode where Norm gets the job at the brewery, <laughs> tasting everything, <laughs> and they're like, "Here, here." He's like, "What? It's your paycheck." Oh no 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 oh, no 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 no! There must be some mistake. <laughs> and he's like, "No, there's your paycheck." He's like. No, 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 no. He's like, he's like, he's like no, 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 no. <laughs> this is good. This is very good. So w- what's the, uh, you know. ABV, or the name. <sighs> no, I was going with what's your, uh, which, what have you graded it? Oh, a five. John? Yeah, it's 14.7 alcohol. So. Ooh. Holy moly. Yeah. Where's it from? Prairie is in Oklahoma, I believe. No, that's not local. <laughs> You're right, Greg. Thanks for correcting me. That's how I learn. <laughs> uh, yep, Krebs, Oklahoma. What are you grading it? I'm going to mark it off for not being ne- our neighbor. And stouts are hard on me. But it's delicious. Why isn't he answering the question, though? <laughs> <laughs> he obviously I marked it down one. That's 4.75. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know you didn't say. I, I asked you twice, and you just. Oh well, I was still still waiting in my mind. Ah, fuck you! <laughs> oh, that's a fine old bite. And I also got. I ran into a beer this weekend that I already checked in, mm. and I I checked it in I way too that. high, and I can't figure. And I know I've changed them before. You can change it. You I know, but for some it. reason I couldn't change it. You have to actually go into the. Check in, and then your should be your little three dots. The three the dots. I knew it was something yeah, about those three, three dots. I'll say edit this check in. You can go back. Three on. fucking I've dots. I've done that hundred times. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm still, I'm, I'm still evolving. So I'm going with that. That's I'm honest. still evolving. You mean you're right. still learning? This is yeah. a prairie. Great beer, by the way. What is it? One more time. Uh, Jay's Brew number ninety nine, by the way, folks. Oh yeah, hundred is coming. Prairie artisan Ooh. ale, barrel aged birthday bomb. Can't believe I made it this far. 
Imperial aged. Very smooth Imperial stout and seems to be very strong so far. <laughs> we in for a nice big surprise for number 100? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> No. Nothing special? Not that I know of. I don't know. I wonder what about that scary one? Maybe we should do that oh, scary yeah, yeah, one. That, yeah. I thought about bringing that tonight, but it just still scares me. We can, put some, pa- we can put some padding back here so John falls still nicely. In my fridge. Yeah, I wonder if oh, I think that's number the 99. Air National Guard base checks up on you to find out <laughs> why you're drinking beer well, on I their can't. property. <laughs> Club, somebody at Club Super Sex must have because it's not there anymore. So. <laughs> Club Super Sex. <laughs> I got my fingers crossed for a little <laughs> freaky dinky. <laughs> Somebody at Club Super Sex must not like that. So the next oh, time... Jay guy. <laughs> so the next time Jay's here, we will be celebrating... <laughs> Jay's <laughs> Brew, number 100. Chillin' with Jay's Brew. Chillin' with Jay's Brew. Chillin' with Jay's Brew. In your face, all over the place. We're online 24 7, 24 7. You're listening to the hottest internet station. Bob and John, super duper variety power. Savages. You're going to have to do the horse chores because I'm broken. Fine. What do I have to do? Well, you have to brush the horse's coat and mane, water and feed it, and then give it a full release. A what? You know, give it a happy photo finish. Huh? Take the glue out of the factory. Spank his front butt. Grant him a bone loan. Oh! Oh, no, you're kidding! No, sir, I am not. I am stabling a champion racehorse. A full release ensures a rejuvenative rest and promotes a winning attitude. Stan, if you want to keep your SUV, your house, and your wife, you'll do it. All right, you <laughs> primitive screwhead. Bone loan. Time to make the chimmy fucking chongas. You can find us at Bob and John's Podcast at gmail.com, on buzzsprout.com, Spotify, and on iTunes, or... At Loose and Buttery on the Twitter and Instagram and Facebook Live. Front rump. <laughs> and on our YouTube channel and our Facebook page. Oh. Barring in a sarin poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Baba Judd, Super Duper Variety Power Hour, also an untapped at Jay's Are we Remember expecting that? that? <laughs> oh, they had a sarin poisoning scare at the Facebook. Oh, they did? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> thing in California. Today. I did not know that. Yes. You're right, Greg. Thanks for correcting me. That's how I learn. <laughs> Uh, and you can go ch- check us out at 151online.com for all your rock and roll needs. Check out all the videos there. We should have a new one coming up soon. All right. Oh, shit. Say what song it's for? No. That would spoil it. Yeah, spoil it. Okay. <laughs> Greg will soon get that out. Greg. Greg. I love when you correct me when I'm wrong. Oh, my goodness. You're right, Greg. Thanks for correcting me. That's how I learn. <laughs> That's how I learn. That's it. <laughs> That's how I learn. Not used to holding a tool with that kind of power, Stan? <laughs> I'm kidding. I've seen yours while you were sleeping. It's great. It's great. <laughs> it's great. Five, five, four, four, three, three, two, one, 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 one. We have ignition. Strap in. You're about to listen to... Is that a new book? No, I'm trying to fi- figure out where we're at, and I don't. <laughs> my I, my last one I have is 204. Yeah, me too. That was the last what time we were together. What? Yeah. So this was 205. No, no, this is 207. That's what. So where's the other two? It's weird. They were it's weird number. <laughs> alternate side they were angry assholes and rock okay pod. so that was counted then okay i was just quite yeah well no it, remember it got all fucked up when we were doing the quick shots and yeah they were like going by two numbering systems and it was like a big yeah. fucking mess that yeah. was a goddamn it was for you not for me well ah fuck you <laughs> you, you you only the only thing that bothers me is that my book is not Right. 
I'll just That's say. That's right. Yeah, I know. I know. Just You're right, I have Greg. to make a Thanks note. Thanks for correcting me. That's how I learn. 205. I don't think pages got stolen. Right. Yeah. Otherwise, I think somebody took these very Don't think, Axel. Makes my dick it. That's right. You're exactly right. Oh, no. That's true. 205 to 206 were uh, angry assholes. Tell John. No, I'll one was an angry asshole. The one was a rock pod. Tell John. Cold. 206 was a angry asshole, Don't. and 206, I believe, was... You mean 205. <laughs> Which one was it? 206 was an angry asshole. Yeah. And I believe six two. I don't know. What? Rock. Rock. Two o- rock thing. Five was a <laughs> rock thing. I don't fucking know. Just what's the name of the other one? Rock pod. Rock pod. That's the other one. So I don't give a shit rock which one Pop came Star. first. <laughs> <laughs> I All think. Right. I don't know. You ask me questions, man. Well, that's what happens when you pull me out of the mountains. Expect me to be technologically advanced. Spoken like a truly unfunny <laughs> alcoholic. <laughs> Uh, as you can see, we're all a little red, white, and blue tonight. Yay. Yay. I even lit a sparkler. Last time I lit one of those, I got in fire. I set something on fire over there and over there and burned the green screen. And it did? Yeah. It's, well, we moved, so it changed. This green screen right here is a fucking mess. Look at this. It is. It's the that is. There should disaster. be plants growing out of that. I know. Ah, fuck you. I don't know if it's it even, is. is it washable? How'd that happen? No, it's felt. It's not washable. Remember we asked the wife that, and she said no. Yeah, it'll probably just disintegrate. Yeah. But nobody can see it, so what does it matter? I don't know. It bugs me. I don't know. It reminds me of (laughs) good times. That's true. That's right. (laughs) You're right, Greg. Thanks for correcting me. That's how I learn. It's like a tattoo you get. Yeah. Every day with you is a punch in the nads. (laughs) Uh, Our top ten... It, this is either going to be good or bad. Yeah, I haven't decided I'm yet. Go. I'm going to go with bad. <laughs> okay. No, I'm hoping. This this could good. Th- th- this 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 has the potential potential to be things that are green. Uh, <laughs> this is red, white, and blue things. This is top ten American things. The only problem I have and positive American celebrative things. Celebratory. Oh fuck! What did you do now? <laughs> <laughs> Spoken like a truly unfunny alcoholic. Oh, celebrity. Nobody said any. We never said celebrity in anything. No, I, I didn't mean it for the top ten. I, I, oh, I was oh. Say, I was just saying, like you said something, you know, celebrate or something. Right. Oh, celebratory. Yeah, right. Not celebratory. You, you know, said I was celebratory. To get in the ballpark. Just hitting a little fucking <laughs> double there. Come on. <laughs> no, that was. That was you running for a double, and it was a foul. Sometimes that happens. <laughs> uh, who's going first? What you know, I was going to say was, ultimately, there are, I think there's few 100% American foods. Like, you know, I mean, we've... we've that's American things. Yeah. yeah. So you're going first. Yeah. Sounds like John's going first. <laughs> well, I had to take notes at, at the lake. You know, I had to. I can't use my the, no no pen no pen and pencil there. <laughs> That's right. You I know, didn't have time for that. <laughs> That's because you were. I got my fingers crossed for a little freaky dicky. <laughs> Goddamn right. <laughs> Goddamn right. Fucking me. Number ten. Okay, mm-hmm. so I'm going to give you my example of when I do these here, like. Like this one, for example, I think is pretty. Uh, what the <laughs> fuck? Go ahead. I think this one is pretty American through and through. N- not my favorite choice, but hamburger. Okay, yeah. Hamburger or cheeseburger, either one. Either one. That qualifies either way. Yeah. I, I would choose a cheeseburger. But I'm just getting hamburger. But not for this list. <laughs> what? <laughs> but not for this list. Yeah. If you chose a cheeseburger, then pick cheeseburger. Then for fuck's sake, it's a cheeseburger. <laughs> Every day with you is a punch in the nads. 
<laughs> well, if you like a cheeseburger more, then why would you pick hamburger? Unless that's another one. That's it's another a one general one classification. <laughs> you want <laughs> drugs? But I'm going to take the cheeseburger then. All right. Jay, you're up. All right. I'm going with blue jeans. Yeah, absolutely. Blue jeans. <laughs> you had nowhere to go with that, did you? You just sang it. You had no. Yeah, you I wanted just, to go blue. You wanted to go the David Bowie song, didn't you? <laughs> no, I was thinking more uh, Silver Tide. I don't know if it's a. Uh, I think it's Billy Joel that I'm thinking in my head. Billy jo- that uh, <laughs> no song called Blue Jeans and no- I didn't say I had the right words. It was this the song that was in my head. <laughs> the well, the melody are- was not bad. Good either. The that words was- are Blue Jeans. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's not really other way to put it. Uh, uh, America, I, you know, I mean, America. It's an American yeah, thing. Yeah, absolutely. America. Blue jeans. Yeah. Cowboys yeah. wearing blue jeans. Right. It was just yeah. You know. I don't know. Absolutely, one hundred percent. I like that one. Uh, my number 10, actually, I don't think this is uh, as American anymore, so I put it way down on my list, is baseball. I don't think it's America's, they call it America's pastime, but I, I don't believe it anymore because there's just as much baseball in Japan and South Korea and the Dominican Republic and Mexico. Mm-hmm. It, it's all. It's so all over the place, maybe with the exception of Europe, and most of Major League Baseball is from other countries. Players from other countries, so I put it down at ten instead of higher up. Mm-hmm. I agree. So, but I still put it on the list because it did originate, yeah, in this country and was its pastime for a long time. I just don't think it is as much anymore. I think it's more international. Your number nine, Juan. I'm going to take blue jeans. Maybe right. Jay's not giving them away. He's, he has to. <laughs> I chose to. I chose to. Well, like I said, my list consists of things that are not actually rooted from America. So I had rooted to make, I had to make some, some decisions here. Jay, your number nine? I just made a little change on the fly there because of Bob's talking. I thought you would have baseball higher because you <laughs> like baseball. I do not like baseball. Mm-hmm. But I'm putting it on there because there's an American thing also. It was on yeah. my list. I had actually had it a little higher, but your little speech there kind of inspired me to, because it has been more of an international thing. Yeah, it, it's got so much more, considering that I just watched the Red Sox and the Yankees play two games in London. In London, which is kind of yeah. like, it's like hilarious, right in Fourth of July week. I thought that yeah. was funny. It's like a big, <laughs> fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Totally. <laughs> fuck you, England. I always wonder that. Is there? There's got to be like some kind of small sect of people over there that are like pissed off that we still won the war. <laughs> oh, sure. Oh, yeah. These days, business and finances are gone through with a fine tooth and comb, and no. Basically, everybody is bent to the model of okay, it's cheaper to shut down for holidays. Um, I happen to know for a fact that the Economist is European based, and they really don't give a rat's ass about Fourth of July. So even though they have to pay premiums, they don't give a rat's ass. You can fucking work, <laughs> you know. Oh yeah, well Fourth of July don't mean shit except for in this country. <laughs> Thanksgiving doesn't mean a lot of people think just because Thanksgiving is a national holiday the same too. Thing with them, they, yeah, that's they're, when they're, they run on Thursday. <laughs> As a kid, you you just think Thanksgiving and the world is taking yeah, up. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's exactly. like, no. Uh, my number nine is going to be Coca-Cola. That was on my big list. Yeah, I think it's a very American thing. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Red, white is red, white, no blue. But, mm-hmm. you know, I think Coca-Cola. Oh, I agree. Probably a little bit more than Pepsi Cola, but I think either one of them. I'll say both. I'll say Coca Cola, Pepsi Cola, whatever. Either one. I'm sure they wouldn't like that being lumped in together, but I feel like that's like probably more America soda than, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, I agree. Anything. John, you're number eight. Baseball. All right. Uh, baseball. Your number eight, Jay? My number eight, drive-in movies. 
Ooh. Ooh, I didn't even think about that one. Yeah. There's really no place else in the world you can go drive in movies. No? Mm. And they're still around, too, which is pretty amazing, especially in this area. Yeah. It's very Malta. Season. They were just, Malta. Isn't Malta just Malta. celebrating? There are 70 some something, years or yeah. something. There's like three or four of them around here. There's yeah. Malta. There's one up in Queensbury. There's one down. I think that one's still down in. Not overly a big fan. I yeah. am as I got as I've gotten yeah. older. I should say. Probably That's still it neat. was. Yeah, I, I just feel like you need to go watch the movie over because you, it's hard to pay yeah. detailed attention to what you're seeing. True. Well, so much other shit's going on around you. Yeah, it's true. Uh, so what's that? Mean what? Number eight. eight? You. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with what John did. Is on my list. Cheeseburgers. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers, hamburgers, whatever. Oh, I want to describe some of the things that I'm like crossing off of my electronic list. Um, because it's not American. I knew that right from the start. <clears throat> but I feel like fireworks is such an American thing, but it certainly it's not, wasn't developed. No. Mm-hmm. So that one I just wanted to mention was on my original list, but now with your guys' help, I'm finding my way around this thing. Sir. Almost at the point where... Uh, oh, the other one was pizza. I know. I, know well, that's yeah. I, was gonna I would hope so, but you being Italian. And here's one I got... I got a, it, think is from the like bratwurst like hot dog i think i don't know no, if it's I think an hot all dog. american thing yeah i think hot dogs and hamburgers okay so i'm still gonna hot use dog the, uh, isn't hot a dog. bratwurst it's uh, that's a hot dog hot dog then is on my list number seven that's your number seven yeah all right <clears throat> jay your number seven well i know you just crossed it off and <laughs> i'm gonna put it on my list anyway because fireworks displays are an American. That's I why it was on my old list. They, I, I accept it. As Americans, I think we do it more than more any often than anybody else does. And yeah, and as far as like the personal fireworks and things like that, I mm. don't think any other country does fireworks like we do. Even though they were invented here, but I think of like the fireworks display yeah. thing as an American. Well, thing. I think you just think of it with Fourth of July. Right. When you're when you live yeah. in this country and grew up as we did, yeah. we're Americans. Right. We think of fi- we instantly are put with fireworks means Fourth of July more right. than anything. Yeah, even though they do shoot off fireworks yeah. on New Year's Eve and stuff, in right. some places and stuff, so. and stuff and some yeah. and stuff and some and stuff. But yeah, I agree with right. you, Jay. You're right, Greg. Thanks for correcting me. That's how I learn. <laughs> Then I'm going with. Oh, it's not my turn. Can I go first? (laughs) You can. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm going to go with, and this is a two for one here. I'm going to go with uh, Superman and Captain America. Oh, all right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very. Superman is very red, white, and blue. Boy Scout type of. That's a good one. You know what I mean? And of course, Captain America. It says it right in the fucking title there, don't it? It does. You know what I mean? So I think they're very American. It's true. Yes. You're not okay, now it's your turn. Now six? that we re allowed fireworks, I'm putting them in the <laughs> Now that we re allowed them, we didn't unallow them. You did. I just made my case. We, we had the discussion, that's all. You're right, Greg. Thanks for correcting me. That's how I learn. You're welcome. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. Jay, your number, number six, uh, Thanksgiving. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's actually a great one. I, I'm. I, you know what? My number six, Jay. I'm right with you. Yeah. I mean, you can't really get any more yeah. American other than the Fourth of July. Yeah, know? I was gonna say if you're gonna finish that, the Fourth of July is yeah. the most American. Right. But I mean, Thanksgiving. Is yes, good. I think those two are pretty well yes. the most American holidays. Yes. John, your number five. Thanksgiving. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Three oh, way. Awesome. Bada boom, bada bing. Bing, 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 bing. Bing, 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 bing. So we number five. That was your number five. Jay, your number five. The Now, and I'm not putting this into a 
I'm using the general category of barbecue, which includes your hamburgers and hot dogs. Yeah, and just the barbecue, a barbecue, a the getting together. General, yeah, a barbecue. What you do on the Fourth of July? Not the yeah. right, exactly. So barbecue, yeah. or barbecue during the thing. summer. I, I mean, I'm like sure it. other places do that, but I think as Americans, we barbecue. Well, at least I do. We we barbecue all year yeah, round. Barbecue a lot. The barbecue. Yes. Yeah. Yep. I Actually, I got my. Uh, Actually, that didn't make my list, but it should have. My nephew, hmm. who's going to University of Vermont, okay. really enjoys trout fishing. And my dad does, too. And my mom doesn't like him going anymore all by himself. Hmm. Uh, so now Brandon's really stoked to go. They've been going, like, all the time. So the freezer's starting to fill up with trout. And, man, I got to tell you, smoked trout, hmm. man, there's I haven't nothing had like trout it. in forever. I've been saying that to Renee. I'd like to do, we used to do pan fry trout. I got to say, I, I, I was really thrilled to see my father tell me this story because he's been trout fishing forever. So for him to come with a story that I haven't heard already is pretty rare. But he said he had his limit. Mm. You know what I mean? So they really he couldn't take any more. Brandon was trying to get his limit, which they've dropped to five now. Yeah. When I was a kid, it was ten. Mm. Now And, yeah, I don't know. Whatever. They have to do a lot of stocking now. But uh, my dad, um, he was fishing from the bridge just for fun mm -hmm. because it's near impossible to catch a trout from a bridge. Yeah. I, I don't know how much trout fishing you've done. I've but done a lot. It's very, it, it's very hard difficult to, yeah. to do. They, yeah. they get off uh, yeah. with that much time and space. And um, he said when he was – taking it up he said either the line's gonna break or the pole because he said the pole was bent right in half and he fucking got it this is a 16 inch brown wow <laughs> salmon <laughs> no it's trout. trout oh trout yeah trout. oh yeah wow so he was all stoked and that nice. is a, that's a big trout yeah that's big. <laughs> that is big yeah okay stick into the program what, what number are we on jay that was your number four my number five that was oh, oh okay number five five to you uh, my number five is, um, oh man, it's, you know what? My number five, as I try to borrow time, um, I'm going to go with my number five is what's very American is the, uh, national park. Mm, that's good. Because mm -hmm. we have a shit ton of national parks. That is good, yep. yeah. From the Grand Canyon to, you know, Adirondacks to, uh, I mean, more than you can, Yosemite, so many, Absolutely. so many yeah. national parks. Yeah, I don't think any other country has. At least not, uh, no, not on the, the amount we that we have, no. that's for sure. So I'm going, yeah, I'm going to throw that one in there. <laughs> national parks. Yeah, that's good. John, you're number four. I'm pretty sure chicken wings is an American thing. I don't know. I don't know where that was. Oh. Buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sticking They're with the it, home then. of the chicken wing, right? Yeah. That's what they always say. Yeah. yeah. So I love chicken wings, man. At Maybe least the way you least much, I love them. Chicken wings, at least the way Americans talk, say the say it. Chicken wings in another country might be a completely different thing. Right, right. You know what I mean? Not prepared the way we, you're talking about chicken wings the way you get them in this country. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, um, I love chicken wings. God, love them. Now that I've found the recipe for the garlic parmesan mm. i i almost prefer it over using the red hot butter yeah. you know oh so i love good. garlic parmesan. so good man hey too you're good. at the rusty nail what you're doing there man i love that place yeah. too i'll god. go back there too god they have fiddlehead I, yeah. I was there for my birthday you could buy one get one uh-huh 16 ounces yeah i couldn't believe they had fiddlehead i barely yeah. ever find that shit well, that's around a lot it's fucking delicious yeah when do you go there just randomly yeah we just went for, we went for dinner? lunch on the way to golf oh lunch and chris we're even out for yeah. dinner yeah who yeah and chris who we went, yeah. <laughs> we went on the way to golf he somebody who loves he loves that place too it is great it's i good. do love good, that place. Yeah. somebody who another person maybe will eventually get out here <laughs> down here jay you're number four 
My number four is apple pie. Oh, that's Love good. a good apple pie. I do too, but I didn't put it down on mine. It's an American, American thing. I, 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 because I feel like it's part of Thanksgiving to me, so yeah, I, I kind of marked it in as that. You know what we have a lot more of in my house? And here's another thing. I really saw... How come apple pie gets the headlines but pumpkin pie doesn't? I don't I never heard another country state brag about their pumpkin pie. Mm, poor pumpkins. <laughs> and I hate pumpkin pie. <laughs> What's in your family that you... You give my father strawberry shortcake? He's like a fucking little kid. <laughs> His eyes light good. up. Oh, man, he loves it. Loves it. <clears throat> what are we at, number four? Number... That was your number four, That was four, my right? number four, yeah. Uh, my number four is... <laughs> Um, hmm. what am I going with number four? Um, dun, 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 dun. right, and that's how I feel like in the moment. You got the button, actually. One that probably nobody's got on their list, but probably should be is NASCAR is very American. It was on my big list, yeah. I'm not gonna throw it in there. Uh, I'll go with blue jeans with Jaded, all right, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Remember, I remember several movies growing up. Of course, we grew up during the Cold War where Russians were like, blue, America, blue jeans, America, blue jeans. That was the big thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'll go with blue jeans. Excuse me. John, you're number three. A little torn now. I got, I got two slots and three candidates. Two sluts and three candidates? No, you have yeah. three. You're at number three. Oh, but well, well, you must already, have one filled already. already. Okay, okay. One for number number one. Because um, I love the national parks. I didn't have it on my list. I do. I would like to insert here. <laughs> um, but, so long, gay boys. But I've got two on here I really wanted to, Well, three that I really wanted to get. Um, so I got to get... See, what am I most proud of? I guess I have to go with that one. I'll go with uh, National Parks for number three. Okay. All right. Jay, your number three? National Parks. Oh! Look at that. Yep. Love the National Parks. Yeah, me too. They're gorgeous. I do the National the Park visit. Magazine. I, want to I visit. don't know if you Oh, know. really? I, I didn't know there was. I should get you. You'd yeah. like it. It's I'll good. buy it. Sure, I would. I love, I love that yeah. shit. Uh, my number three is uh, Cowboys. Cowboys, baby. Mm. Not the football team, remind you. <laughs> Fuck them. I was going to um, say, wow, that doesn't sound like you. No, like the actual <laughs> Bob. The actual working <laughs> cowboy mm. is about as, pretty much about as American, I think, as you can get. America. You never hear anybody else that had cowboys. You know what I mean? Nope. Maybe, maybe Mexico can claim a little something. You might have learned it, though. Yeah, you don't know what chicken or the egg on that one. You don't know what came fir- who, where it came first, though, because it got out in the West. But And might I add, probably you should put cowboys and Indians to be politically correct because <laughs> they they pretty much are the most American yeah, thing. Yeah. We're going there. <laughs> what? I said if we're going there. Yeah, that's, yeah. Pretty, yeah, that's true. J- uh, John, you're number two? Uh, Indians should have made my list. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> uh, yeah, Indians should have made my list. Okay, I'm going to cross off potato chips <laughs> and <laughs> put Indians. Potato <laughs> chips. <laughs> I don't think potato chips are American. No, no, I think it's oh, even they more were. local. Weren't Saratoga. they? Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah that's they why Saratoga. I wanted to get it in there yeah, because yeah. it's even a, it's a local thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the Indians just won. American. <laughs> Indians won. Indians that's your number potato two. chip spot. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think you put them together. I think you put Cowboys and Indians kind of together. Yeah, that's that's fine. You know, I, Thank I, you very much. <laughs> I, not, those I, kind of, not those Indians? <laughs> no. My family... <laughs> Feathers, not dots. ...had nothing to yes, do... Yes, we're going to hell for that one. ...with, yes. with that, but I, I feel bad for the Indians to this day. Here, Snowflake, here, Snowflake. <laughs> so 
I wish they, they got a better shape. Chips. <laughs> they beat out potato <laughs> chips. <laughs> That's right. They should. <laughs> they, they, all right. Well, potato <laughs> chips are bad for me anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> Indians. Yes. Indians. I guess for you too. I got. I got. No. I guess we could have come here and like. So I guess it's a, together. say that 200 years ago. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you sit there with a bag of potatoes. Uh, John, I'm thinking about 150 years ago, you might be saying a different tune there, Bubba. Yeah, You'd be well. bald. <laughs> <laughs> Funny haircut. They did a lot of things and right. And be chipless. <laughs> oh, hey. For yes, well, I know. I agree. I know. I'm just, <laughs> yeah. I'm just joking, everybody. Listen, it's, uh, trying to make fun of John. <laughs> we're just being funny. We uh, listen. All the snowflakes out there, fuck you. Okay, yes, both of you. It's called funny. Ha ha ha! Very yeah. funny. We don't discriminate our funny on this show. Right, no. We hit everybody. Did I mention uh, including American ourselves? Indians. <laughs> No, no we said, already did of, that. I said, think of it. You much. missed it. He said, thank you very much. I said, no, <laughs> feathers, not dots. <laughs> I want to be specific there. Okay. Hey, John. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, you're number two. <laughs> the bald eagle. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jesus, I didn't even think about it's that. That's a good one. That I'm not going to change my list, but that, I, yeah. <laughs> John, do you want to call yeah, I think Indians going to lose on that? No, I think. <laughs> I think that should have taken over for hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> that should have gone over hot dog. Yeah, you went strong food. You came strong on the food. I was thinking Bald all Bald eagle food, is really. delicious. <laughs> <laughs> and what you just said there, you crossed the line, buddy. <laughs> Bald eagle, yeah. I didn't even think about that. Yep. Which is amazingly stupid. <laughs> I didn't think about it. I gotta keep chicken wings, but I would definitely swap <laughs> hot with hot dogs for that one. Uh, my number two is bum 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 bum. I think it's the most American sport, football. Oh, football! Yeah. yeah. Where else? Do, where else can you go in the world except for Canada and find football? American football, not yeah. soccer. Not soccer. Well, they play some games overseas there for them too, don't they? I know, but one game at least. But, but that's like the NFL, the National oh, yeah. Football. Professional football is called the oh. National Football League, meaning this country. Yeah, we don't need translators in <laughs> NFL yet. But no, you, but when you win the Super Bowl, you're a world champion, which doesn't make sense. Oh, hmm. <laughs> oh. Hmm. I think I've waited too long for another beer. Uh. Oh, I don't. Uh oh, I only gave you two. You do. You're a Jew? What? No, not you that want, one. You don't want dark? No, not a, Yeah, take it easy. Do. Uh, IPA? Yeah, that's do. what I'm talking about. Yes, uh, yes. Yeah, I think, football, I think football at this oh, point is more American oh, uh, than baseball. No, I agree. You yeah, know? I agree. It oh. certainly does. It certainly, I guarantee, brings in more money and is more ratings and, than uh, football uh, than baseball has in decades. No, I totally agree with you. Wrestling is pretty American, too. Huh? No, wrestling is definitely international. Yeah, it is. It's huge in Japan. Yes. Professional true. wrestling is huge in Japan and in Latin America. Yeah, but it's popular, but the, it's rooted here. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, I don't watch as much as you. I don't know. In, I'm uh, re, uh, the English have been wrestling for... They have wrestling titles that go back well, yeah, like I mean, it originates hundreds. Greece, of, I mean. Yeah, there you go. See? So, <laughs> yeah, they, that's when they used to uh, they used to wrestle naked. Well, yeah. yeah. I think the all of the Olympics. I am not gay, right. senor. You just make me do gay things. One hell of a show. Yeah. <laughs> I got my fingers crossed for a little freaky dinky. Well, I had to make sure everybody showed up, you know? <laughs> Uh, right after you suck on these <laughs> little Chinese nuts. Uh, John, you're number one. You're number one. Uh, I because of the show theme, I chose the Fourth of July. Okay, I didn't really, th I didn't really think of it that way. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what I did. See that okay. little stinky? Yeah, I there. get that is the most American thing. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, but it's not my number one. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. I didn't think about it that. Way. I. All right, why do you want that beer so bad? Because he's thirsty, dummy. <laughs> You're completely right. I guess I just, it was so obvious I didn't go for it. I didn't put it yeah, out there. You know, I, I, That's true. I, I, like I said, I told you, I think, uh, the, even though. What, what was that last one there? Bald Eagle. Bald Eagle should definitely <laughs> take hot dog. <laughs> 
I got to do this or it's going to bother me the rest of my life. It's like okay. rock, paper, so scissors. officially seven is Bald Eagle. understanding about what kind of boat guys we're going to be. Bald Eagle. It's official. My dog. seven is Bald Eagle. <laughs> takes down check. Hot dog. Takes potato chips. <laughs> check. <laughs> this is like risk. <laughs> Or chess. Battleship. <laughs> Battleship. You sank my potato you chips. Sank my potato chips. <laughs> uh, Jay, your number one? Uh, my number one is uh, I'm wearing it on my back. So. Freedom. Kick me. Freedom is my number one. Yeah, because without freedom, couldn't do this. That is true. That we do every. Yeah. That is true. I guess I just didn't. I guess I just didn't think of that Stay strictly w- as the you know because well, Canada is pretty free. And- yeah, but <laughs> our freedom, you know, sh- yeah, we absolutely. earned it, and just the right to be free and say what we want and do yeah. what we want, pretty much for the well, for the most of it <laughs> until but, tomorrow. I mean, yeah, <laughs> until tomorrow, yeah, until you lose that right. But, yeah. So I don't know. How freedom, I think, is one of the greatest things we have. All right. I so. didn't. I didn't go with anything that. Um, hang on a second. Hello. Okay, well, you're on the podcast right now. We are on the air. Live. You are what? live with Linda Katie. I can't hear you. What? <laughs> no, I don't know. She's here's upstairs the, doing something. Here's the other thing, too, that's going on. She's probably awake. Usually I hear She's this doing some work. Phone, and mm-hmm. every All right, ten I'll words. See like, when you get here. Bye. The seatbelt thing. Beep. Yeah. Beep. Yeah. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> Which I told her this week not to do because it's Fourth of July week. I said you should be, yeah. And her earpiece is upstairs on the counter, so she's, she's on her phone too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She puts it in her lap. Yeah, on the speaker phone. Beep, beep. <laughs> That's what I hear when she calls. Oh hell, let's just do it. We always do hijack some nuclear weapons and hold the world hostage. Uh, Can you play the tone when she calls? What? She's got a ringtone for. Oh, she, so I like I know that? instantly who's calling when it when she calls. She, you said you're lucky caller number nine. Oh, I go warning, warning. Danger, danger! <laughs> this call is from your wife. <laughs> it is most likely hazardous. Be prepared for a series of questions to which there are no right answers. Danger, danger! This call is from your wife. So when that goes off, I'm going, warning, warning. So when he, it's he's on speaker and they're talking, it is every like 10 seconds. Yeah. Like, beep, beep, yeah. beep. Or her text. <laughs> <laughs> the goat. <laughs> this uh, this Bells is pretty good. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is mine. Yeah, here it is. For who, Renee? Right oh, yeah, this is Renee's. Oops. <laughs> Dots, not feathers. <laughs> it is best if you do not answer this call. She will be giving you headache for sure. She will be asking you for money. She will be telling you she spent money. Probably the best you just leave this phone to ring until battery runs flat and then you let just run. Don't look back. Just run. This is anyways just my advice. It is up to you if you take it or not. Have yourself a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> we have one for Steve. My one for Steve is this. Asshole. 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 <laughs> an asshole alert has been issued for your cell phone. This is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening situation. Take cover immediately. A basement or storm shelter is best. Otherwise, take cover in an interior closet or bathroom away from outside walls and windows. An asshole alert has been issued for your cell phone. <laughs> this is an extremely dangerous and life-threatening Do you have his Werble? Oh, uh, that Werble somewhere. I don't know. I, I have like it somewhere. Bells? Yeah, it's good. It's good, right? Yeah. I guess it, um, am I finishing this? Uh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, you did uh, freedom. My number freedom. Yep. Uh, you're probably thinking I went football. Why isn't football number one? And you'll understand when I say my number one is rock and roll. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's true too. Oh, rock and roll start. You know, I don't care what everybody says. What we know is rock and roll started. Oh, it absolutely, one hundred percent. That you know, and even if you want to go back, rock and roll came out of the blues, which yep. is also could have been on this list as American. Yeah. No, that's true. Totally didn't. Uh, yeah. So you're right. Yeah, 
And still to one. the still to this day, a good one. Bands from across the world got to got to make it in America first. You know what I mean? True. Got to make it in America. You yeah, made it till you made America. it in America. Got to make it in America. America. Well, that's our top ten American things. Not 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 nearly as bad as oh, things that were green. Green things. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Five, five, four, four, three, three, two, one, 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 one. I'm going to the elevator. That's all, folks. All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. Time to make the chimmy fucking chongas. You can find us at Bob and John's Podcast at gmail.com, on buzzsprout.com, Spotify, and iTunes, or at Loose and Buttery on the Twitter and Instagram and Facebook Live. And on our YouTube channel and our Facebook page at Bob and John's Super Duper Variety Power Hour, also on Untapped at Jay's Brew and Brewmaster Pick. <laughs> and for all your rock and roll needs, go to 151online.com. Go there, and you can rock out with your uh, socks off. Socks off. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to do the horse chores, because I'm broken. Fine, what do I have to do? Well, you have to brush the horse's coat and mane, water and feed it, and then give it a full release. A what? You know, what? give it a happy photo finish. Huh? Take the glue out of the factory. Spank his front butt, grant him a bone loan. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, you're kidding. No, sir, I am not. I am stabling a champion racehorse. A full release ensures a rejuvenative rest and promotes a winning attitude. Stan, if you want to keep your SUV, your house, and your wife, you'll do it. <laughs> oh, Ooh. oh, I think that's it. Yeah, happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. All together now, one, two, three. Happy 4th of July. Why do you say it like it's Christmas? <laughs> Merry Christmas. I can say it any way I want to say it. Oh. It's true. <laughs> That's ne uh, next time you see the three of us here, it will be a hun the 100th J-Brew. Yes. And What's that, like October? <laughs> <laughs> at this rate it could, yeah, be. it could be no we will be back i'm sure in july again if not enjoy some rock pods and some angry assholes <laughs> and who knows maybe john will bless us with us his presence once again this summer or go to him that's right we've talked about that before man right? Sure, we talked a lot of shit before. <laughs> Still waiting on uh, an interview with Pat. <laughs> All the great things to come. Yes. Not used to holding a tool with that kind of power, Stan. <laughs> I'm kidding. I've seen yours while you were sleeping. It's great. <laughs> Say goodnight, guys. Good night. Good night, guys. Uh, Stadler? Uh, what? Is that it? Yes, it's over. How'd you like it? I don't know. I slept through the whole thing. Well, you didn't miss much. Well, good night. You're right, Greg. Thanks for correcting me. That's how I learn. <laughs>